until then you run into problems like we're seeing right now where it's like a, a, this F-16 is grounded because you can't get this one particular little piece or whatever the, the case might be. So toward that end, in your assessment, how is the whole investment casting world in uh, U.S. manufacturing fairing these days? Well, I would say that it's bifurcated. So uh, we just put out the world and domestic market report. And for a certain tier, like certain products, certain um, like things that are highly complex, like high precision, it's, it's faring quite well. But then for some of the other things that would be traditionally offshored, like the, high, the, the higher volume things that are maybe less, um, less, high, less high precision, I'm, th I'm thinking things like brackets and um, yeah. where it's where it's not like tons of engineering slash um, like very precise to be able to make it. That's kind of bottoming out is what we have found. And it's I mean, it's no secret that it's because that those things have traditionally been sent to somewhere cheaper. And so then people stop becoming incentivized to produce them domestically mm -hmm. until then you run into problems like we're seeing right now where it's like. Uh, uh, this F-16 is grounded because you can't get this one particular little piece or whatever the, the case might be. Well, and, and there have been this whole confluence of things in the supply chain, starting with the post-COVID um, mm -hmm. difficulties and now with tariffs and trouble in the Middle East and all these, you know, clear warning signs that relying on getting stuff from halfway around the world works great when things work great, but when they don't, you're in trouble. That's it exactly in, in terms of my my entry into this industry. And it's that when things that things that things that are things are becoming increasingly localized as a priority where people are starting to kind of wake up and realize like that was really not very smart to outsource all of that production and outsource all of that IP. And that's right. in fact a risk. And so bringing it back local is a smart idea and the gap is now how is that possible 